Yo, what's up guys? This is Liberty Lock Lessons. This will be episode number 53. The song I'm gonna be teaching you is the song from the intro, and that's called Sugar by Men I Trust. This is a brand new song from them. Um, the video just came out yesterday actually, and that's what kind of got me started making this loop. <clears throat> so yeah, I basically just made this loop this afternoon and decided I would show you guys how to play it. So without further ado, Let's go on and get into the video. <clears throat> Pause for the cause. Real quickly, I wanted to add, if you guys are into Men I Trust, you need to check out Oliver Q's channel. It's one of my favorite channels on YouTube. He's got some great Men I Trust covers and lessons. So go check him out. I'll put a link down in the description for him. All right, so I'm gonna start by showing you guys the chords, right? And I'm gonna show you guys standing up this time. Um, I think it'll be faster that way. But the first chord is gonna be a D minor seven. Second chord is going to be a E minor seven, and the third chord is going to be this A minor. The first time through, <clears throat> the second time through, we're going to do D minor seven, E minor seven. But the second time through, we're going to go up to this F major seven. kind of always say with the strum pattern there's no right or wrong way to strum it but you can just have fun with it um, I like to go right and and then we can do is you can just loop that and we can play the lead lick over it so I'm about to show you that right now all right so now I'm gonna show you guys the lead part right and the lead part is gonna sound like this Cool. So you can see I got the capo on fret eight, and I got that from uh, watching some live video. And I saw them live, and they're playing. Um, Jesse's playing with the capo on the eighth fret right here. All right. So relative to the capo, right? Uh, all these frets. I'm gonna have ring finger four of the D string here, index finger two of the G string. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna hit open E string right there so and then from there you can move that shape up and we'll have a uh, index finger on the 12th or the fourth fret now of the G string and we'll go right and then the last one is going to be ring finger on the sixth fret index finger on the fourth fret of the B string and we'll go and I'm super out of tune, but all together it'll be. The capo is totally messing up my, uh, my tuning, so hang on just a second. All right, so we're back, now we're in tune, but in tune, that part's gonna sound like this. So that's the first part. Second part is gonna go like this. I'm gonna start my index finger on the second fret of the G string, and I'm just gonna go. All right, and then I'm gonna drop my ring finger and pinky finger down on the fourth fret of the G and B strings. Like that, bottom three again. And the last shape is gonna be right here. I'm gonna have my ring finger on the uh, sixth fret one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Sixth fret of the G string, ring finger, fourth fret of the B string here. So that part all together is gonna be. And then that's gonna repeat, right? Right back to what we had first. All right, so let's go ahead and play that up close over the rhythm loop that we created, and you guys will hear what it sounds like. So let's go ahead and play it. And 
that's your song.